Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys the real reason why the LiDAR sensor on the back of the iPhone and iPad is useful in daily life. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the real reason why the LiDAR sensor on the back of the iPhone 12 Pro, 13 Pro, and 14 Pro, and the 2020 iPad Pro and newer is because it can be used for 3D mapping inside a room or a house. Then you can use that model to see where you can put things when you move into a new place or rearrange things. So basically, I will demo this today with an app called Scanniverse. This will basically take advantage of the LiDAR sensor. So before I do that, let me go and take my camera off my tripod so I can show you guys this without bumping into anything. Okay guys, so I've taken my camera off my tripod so I can show you guys how to scan a room map with the LiDAR sensor using the Scanniverse app. So this app basically takes advantage of the LiDAR sensor to make a scan. So what I'm gonna do is hit large object clutch area. And now what it's gonna do is when I press this button right here for scan, it's gonna basically put a red grid line around the entire room, top to bottom, so even the ceiling, so I can scan the entire room and get a good 3D map. So when I click this button here, so now the last scan I tried before when I was doing this video didn't work well, so I have to go all the way out to get a good scan of everything this time to make sure it actually gets it this time. Like that, just in the bed area. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my nice scan area where all my other stuff is, like my device collection here. Now I'm going to scan the near under part of my bed here. And now I'm going to scan my wall area. So they always say don't take fast turns while doing this. Like avoid it. So now what I'm going to do is get the floor area just partially like this. And I'm trying to keep my feet out of this, out of the scan to make it look better. Just like this, see? Now I have to scan my desk area to make sure it gets pretty much everything. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll still work just fine. So I'm going to scan my chair area, which I missed during the last scan out of the failed attempt on this video. So this is the redo part. Now I'm going to get my ceiling just a little bit all the way. Now, if you don't do all spinning, I advise the guy to scan the upper part of the ceiling and wall slowly. All right, so I'm just going like this to make sure I got everything. Now I'm going to get the rest of the wall area here. That's why I'm redoing everything. I'm, I'm just going around and doing everything twice to make sure it actually scans properly, like my desk area here, my drawers, the rest of my bed area. This is actually a good thing to do because if, if I miss anything, this game won't turn out properly. Like back here on my TV area, it has to be precise. Otherwise, this will not work. Putting a little bit down here, a little bit on my floor that I missed, the under part of my chair, which I did miss. Now parts of my desk in my chair. Now I'm gonna check my gaming area here where I keep all my Oculus and Pokemon games here. So everything looks good. Now I'm gonna hit stop right there. And this is the scan I did in my room. So now I'm gonna press area. Now it's gonna process. So now I'm gonna come back to you guys once it's done processing. Okay guys, so I'm back and the scan has finished processing. And as you guys can see here, I now have a great 3D model of my entire room, just like this. This can also be used to scan every room on an entire three-story floor house or hotel. That way you can get an entire map of every story of the hotel and house. So I only did my top floor today just to save time. So basically, I can actually use this to like look at a new place I want to move into. Or if I want to renovate this place, I can use this map here to see exactly where things go like this. Then I can quickly rearrange it and have everything planned out ahead of time. And I see, guys, see, there's the shadow of where I stood when I scanned everything, just like that. See, there's my desk area right here and everything. So this picture right here is what you see there. These sign, of the three sign pictures, the first, second, and fifth, they're right, they're right over here, right beside me on the right, but you can't see them. Then here's my third sign picture. This is what you guys see in every intro of my video, which is on the wall right behind me. There's my entire device collection. Down here is where I keep my iPads and boxes and all that, the bed area. There is my Apple Watch Ultra Box, just like that. My iPad case, and just like that. There's the Apple Park bag there too. My Pokemon games and Oculus in my VR headset right over here, directly right here, charging. So that is basically how you use the LiDAR scanner to scan a 3D room today. And that's also the reason why the LiDAR scanner 
on the iPhone 12 Pro, 13 and 14 Pros, and the 2020 iPad Pro newer. It's very useful and helpful in life. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace out.